Today we're going to build something amazing, a DIY writing machine using basic components and wood instead of 3D printed parts. This machine can write or draw anything you want. To build this, we need CNC Shield V3, A4988 stepper motor drivers, Arduino UNO, NEMA 17 stepper motor, servo motor, 12 volt power supply, motor belt, motor pulley, smooth steel rod, LM20UU linear ball bearing, CNC router spindle bearing, bond tie limit switch, and 12 volt DC cooling fan. Let's get started with building the first frame. Be sure to make smooth and accurate cuts for a neat and solid assembly. You can find all the necessary dimensions in the description below. Design a strong rectangular frame with wood for both the base and the vertical supports. Be sure to make smooth and accurate cuts for a neat and solid assembly. Now let's connect the motors to the frame. We'll start by drilling holes in the wooden frame to mount the steel rods and the NEMA 17 stepper motors. These steel rods will guide the moving parts of the machine, while the stepper motors will control movement along the X and Y axis. Make sure the steel rods fit snugly into the holes to ensure stable support for the entire movement mechanism. Attach the pulleys to the stepper motors and ensure they are properly aligned with the motor belts. The motors will need to be aligned properly for the belt to move smoothly. Proper alignment is key to smooth operation. Let's make our second frame. Now that the frame is ready, it's time to install the motion system. The smooth steel rods fit into these holes and will attach the LM20UU linear bearings that will allow smooth movement across the frame. You can use bond tight gum or wood glue to securely attach the wooden part with the bearings to the frame. This will help keep everything firmly in place and ensure smooth movement. Electronics and wiring parts. Connecting pins for AC power supply.
we're using a CNC Shield V3 that sits on top of the Arduino UNO. This shield controls the A4988 stepper motor drivers, which in turn power the stepper motors. It will get connected to 12 volt power supply directly. Once everything is connected, we'll wire the motors to the shield. Make sure to connect each motor to the correct pins on the CNC shield for smooth movement in both the X and Y axis. Connecting the limit switch. A limit switch is used to detect the physical limits or boundaries of movement in a machine, preventing it from going beyond the set point. It ensures precise control and protects the machine from damage by stopping motion when triggered. Connecting the belt and sliding mechanism to the CNC writing machine. Now it's time to install the belts that will drive the movement stretch the belt across the frame and loop it through the idler pulley on the opposite side. Tighten the belt just enough to avoid any slack, but not too tight to restrict movement. We are quick to go for the testing. In the next video, we'll be building the pen holder for our CNC writing machine and diving into the software setup. We'll walk you through how to control the machine and get it ready for writing or drawing. Stay tuned for the detailed explanation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY projects. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.